Wonderful. We are live. Everybody, welcome to URL three, not threes, twos, Contender Combine <laughs> with your Combine Masters, myself and Mr. Flakes. We've made it. Heck yeah, it's back to the it. twos league. <laughs> Dude, we, listen, we had some off season, we had some time, and now all of a sudden, you know, we're, we're into this and we're kind of just hanging with it. So. Yeah, we are. So I'm actually just, you know, going to go right ahead. But I don't know if I'm gonna make predictions here in this combine. I I've got to go with like I'm gonna go with Pikachu, Pikachu's team. I believe that's the team that I think is gonna win this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think Pikachu. You know, we we saw his bio. We see what he's got here. Uh, what a shot by Smiler. Uh, he's already put me to shame. <laughs> Smiler had a, Smiler was on the Outlaws last season, so he's already got like a season under his belt too. He knows how this is supposed to work. That is true, yeah. I have seen him play for the Contenders League, and he's got he's already experienced with this type of stuff. He's been a plenty of times too. But as I say that, Jockey's oh. gonna get one to go through now, and we have a tight game. Just an unfortunate kickoff. I think just a little miscommunication, I'd say, on both of them. Yeah, it looks like it was exactly that, actually. I, I don't. I mean, I don't really know. What what kind of prompts that miss of kickoff? I feel like you know these guys, maybe somebody just wasn't ready right at the top. Oh, Smiler! Smiler again. We are off to the races. Three goals within the first 15 seconds of this match. By the way, I think all oh, those are not the NFL wheels. Those are the G2 wheels. I thought he was rocking yeah. the NFL uh, <laughs> the gridiron wheels. Yeah, he's getting ready for the Super Bowl, huh? Oh, dude. Who you got in the Super Bowl? Who do you, what are you thinking? Who do I have the Super Bowl? Okay, so I actually, personally, I have the Bengals in the Super Bowl. Okay. But if the Bengals don't win, I'm not upset with the Rams winning. I I, I like both of these matchups. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of players on each team that, like, each each person kind of needs a ring. Right. Yeah, this will be one of their opportunities to get that. I mean, I don't... It's very possible, you know, the Rams are able to repeat for next season, but it's like, I totally know what you mean. You know, so many of these guys deserve rings. They have such good careers, and it's like, they just don't have them yet. Yeah, but I mean, you also look at, like, you look at the Rams, and they have more players that you feel like need that ring. You have, you know, you got Aaron Donald, you got right. OBJ, you got Stafford, you got Cooper Cup. Just all of those players that are, you know, they're like, possible Hall of Fame, not Hall of Fame yet, but they're worthy. Right. In, in the talks about it, but... They don't have those rings yet. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. But so far, I mean, throughout this game, it's definitely quieted down a little more. Both teams not looking to give anything up. Right. Still kind of a two to one game. We're not as high scoring as we, we saw. That one's going to go up to the corner. Jockey's there, put it to the sidewall. Ghost on the wall, doesn't get the touch he wants. Pikachu there. Jockey's going up for this, and it's at mid. Smiler put it in the corner. Pikachu oh. can't read this ball. That's up to Smiler. He gets us another goal. That's a hat trick for Smiler. Dude, Smiler is on point today. Uh, you said it earlier, off to the races, but we didn't really know how off to the races you meant. My goodness. Uh -huh. He's figured it out, though. I'll tell you that much. But three to one with three minutes to go. We're gonna see if this game continues to put up all the goals that we've been seeing. It's been very heavy scoring. Not much defensive plays have been seen. And Pikachu's gonna go up for this one. Is this gonna roll in? Wow. It's gonna roll in. We have a three to two game now. Not even three minutes have gone past in this game. We have five goals. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love everything that's happening here. I think these guys have really kind of been able to really kind of find their, their groove a little bit so far. You know, we, we've seen a little bit of team play. We've really seen these solo plays come out from, from Smiler, from Pikachu, from Giaki. You know, all these guys have really kind of had a moment so far. And, uh, you know, they're really going to just be able to continue to have that, that stardom, especially in this Contender League, you know, where they're really going to be able to just keep figuring stuff out. You know what I mean? Oh, Smiler with a flick. That almost found its way. That thing oh. is going to come in. That's going to go in. Four to two, you know, every player that's been in this combine match right now has at least got some type of goal or assist to put points on the board for them. And for the GMs looking at this combine, drafting these players, it's going to be tough for them because every player in this match is actually contributing to their team's 
overall trying to get this victory. Right. Yeah, I mean. Jockey. Oh, Smiler. Oh, Smiler's oh. got the ball, and he does Jockey too, and he's gonna take him to the corner. Going up wall with it, he's got Fakey. That's a pinch, possibly going into his net. If Fakey could get back, and he can. Double commit there from the blue side. Smiler's gonna have this ball to himself. Down to the corner he goes. Jockey's trying to get the recovery. That goes up for Fakey. But he can't quite get the touch he wanted. Is that what's gonna go? Jockey with control. Smiler up, can't get the touch. Pikachu on the ball. Gonna get a shot on. Ghost ah. can't quite get back. And now this this game just keeps getting closer and closer. We're almost <laughs> at eight goals. Pikachu's got the Packers banner flakes. You see that? Oh, dude. I knew he was my favorite. I knew he was my favorite. Yes, I love that. Honestly, dude, too, it's like, oh, the, the, the NFL logos, the NFL decals in this game, they all just look so clean. They really, they really do all just come together. I do agree with that. At, oh my God, Pikachu no again. At Trey. Pikachu is just taking this ball and he was, he's just moving it down the field as much as he can. It's, it's just working out for him because this is a tie game now. Absolutely. I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't think it would be this high scoring to be completely honest with you. But past that, I'm looking at this right now, and I'm like, it, it's just so back and forth. It's, it's high scoring. You know, it's super, super close, and it's like, this will be a photo finish. I guarantee you, the last goal will be scored within the last 30 seconds, and we'll actually, you know, kind of be able to. It might even go to overtime. Who knows? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Yeah. I do believe your your suggestion on that. I do think that's going to come true. Very possible. Pikachu gets a touch. Smiler on the ball. Ghost comes in. Right to Pikachu. Going mid with it. Giaki's going to be up for this ball. He's going to put it in the back of the net. Another goal in this game. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. This is very two very offensive heavy teams. Yeah. Actually, and unfortunately, I mean, like I said, I put the two EU guys together. You can clearly see it with their ping. Hopefully, it's not affecting them too bad. Right. You know what the worst part about this all is? Is I'm looking at the stream right now, and it looks like it's, like, so bad. It's so pixelated. But I literally oh, just really? ran a whole bunch of test streams on my own account, and it looked fine. Uh, to, it's always, it's always for the main stage. <laughs> it's always the, dude, there's always an issue with it. I just want everybody to know that I actually made a genuine attempt to fix the issue of my stream looking so bad. But it actually just doesn't even, it, it won't even change. I mean, I, we'll, have to, we'll have to see. Yeah. Only time can tell, right? 30 seconds left. Only time will tell, Flakes. Who do you have winning this game right now? I have to stick with Pikachu as he puts one of the net through. Oh. <laughs> as I said, Pikachu, he proves me right and puts another goal in. That's going to be a good security goal for them. So to take this victory. It looks like Smiler almost had the save there. Unfortunately, the ball went in the net before he could actually get a touch on the ball. I know, it looked like he was really only a little bit off of that, maybe a foot or two, but crazy stuff. Up by two now, Chiaki and Pikachu gonna have to defend. Smiler leaves Ooh. this one. Oh! So close. I think Smiler, I thought he had a second touch on that ball. I thought he was gonna do it all by himself. His Pikachu is just gonna, he's just gonna put the dagger in. Pikachu wow. is having himself a game. Uh, by the way, I, I think this, I think the Smiler and uh, and Ghost combo was up at the beginning of the match too. I think Pikachu yeah, they and were. Jockey have really driven this one back. Pikachu has five goals off of his five shots. He does not miss. And then Jockey's got the other two. But wow, you know what a combo! And I'll, I'll tell you right now, these guys have really. Uh... Oh no way! One oh, for the there's road. Gio this wow. is just, you know a close game. With high score and just turn into an absolute not even a blowout but eight to four or 12 goals into the first combine game this is crazy uh damn you know it, this really is just so crazy because i mean literally what have they on something like seven goals straight now or something like that something ridiculous like that it's probably be a nice like a nice interval of like 30 seconds between right. most of these goals which has been absolutely crazy wow. so hopefully with these two these two teams, good to see them come out and play those games. Yep. Hopefully we have to see much more high scoring with the next players.
he had some pretty good reads and I started trusting him more. He was, uh, he was a good teammate. That's unfortunate. Both of these guys just ready up. Anthony, I'm literally uh, going to kill you, dude. Are you for real, Anthony? <laughs> unfortunate. They didn't know that you could... They could actually just spectate and it wouldn't start. But I guess they just didn't know that yet. Can't even but believe it. as we create the next lobby, I do have a question. With my aerial. Um, and that's pretty much it. Right. Gotcha, okay. Like, so it was a very offensive the school. They just all joined Oh, we up. did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Good. It was a very high scoring game from what we were seeing. I mean, there was like at least like five goals within the first minute of that game, which is obviously something I wasn't expecting. But there yeah. didn't seem to be too much defensive moves going on. Everyone was high on the offense. Right. Yeah, that's the thing about playing with teammates you're not uh, used, to, used to playing with. Uh, you know, so there's not very much defense. There's a lot of offense. That's true, too. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I, I could have told you that. Like, you know, I, I remember a couple seasons ago, you know, we took an opportunity and looked at everybody's, you know, tracker, like, stats as far as, you know, whether you were more defensive player, more assistive player, and obviously there's not a single contender player who's gonna be loading up on those assists or those saves. Everybody's got the goals, but you know it is just kind of interesting to see, you know, the way that contender players play, the offense that they choose to take, and kind of the defensive moves that they do have. But yeah, I mean, listen, you guys really pulled up on the offense towards the end. When you guys started trusting each other, you know that that four goals certainly did not go up, but you know you guys just did a great job overall. Yeah. Absolutely. I also, I also do want to mention, uh, I do have a little bit of beef with Smiler, so I was going a little harder. Than oh, <laughs> I didn't even know that. I, did, I was just randomly picking teams. I love it. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, Mr. Yeah. Giochi, I appreciate, I appreciate the little interview. We wanted to get you in here. We wanted to see another face, but we got another game going on right now. So we're going to have All you right. go back down there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Sure. Always nice talking with the community. Mr. Jockey is one of our finest. Uh, so glad to see him playing. But the game in front of us right now, obviously we're about a minute behind. Um, Conless Con, Maker of Demons, Dot Professor, and Rijik. What have you seen so far, Flakes? So what I've seen actually is that the Orange team, I don't know if they have chemistry or whatnot, but it seems like every play they're doing is swapping with each other. Right. I mean, Rajic, I know him personally from the Threes League, and I know what he's capable of doing. Um, and he's kind of just putting on a show right now, while his other team is doing a really good job supporting him. We saw that demo earlier in that kind of opened up the play, and Rajic was almost able to get a, a goal out of it. But I don't know. I, I, I'm hoping to see something turn out from this blue team as they as this game progresses. But as I say that, the professor is putting one top right. The professor. Well, dude, whenever I hear the professor, I always think of the basketball guy. Like he'll just pull up on people. Oh, and just, you, you yeah. ever seen those videos? I have, yeah. Oh, dude, he's so good. But similarly, it looks like he's pulling up on these guys right now. Could be one and the same. Right, right. I mean, three to nothing with half half of this game already gone. And uh, the professor's getting another one, just like that. He's got a hat trick in this game. I mean, that's that's what three players in this combine already we've seen hat tricks come out of. Dude, I don't even know Which, who this guy is. <laughs> yeah, the professor. I've never seen him either. But right now, he's he's trying to make a name for himself. Right. What is he? He is he is B hats. That is that is who oh, he is. Oh, that is B hats. B -Hats. Nice. For anybody wondering, this is... Oh, yeah. what a demo by Rajik to give Professor space. Rajik's been really on those demos. I've seen him go for a couple of them now, and I think they're really working. I think they're really putting the blue team out of uh, out of position, and they're really kind of throwing them off, honestly. Yeah, you know, two, demos is definitely not the... It's kind of a scary thing to go for demos in twos. You see a lot of it in threes, because that's kind of like a the mentality of it. You know, this meta nowadays is all about the demos, but... These two with their demos are actually making it work pretty well in twos. They right. seem to know how to rotate around each other. I would not be surprised if these guys have played with each other before. You know, might have been even been with each other at tryouts. You know, might even be friends because of the tryouts. But, uh, you know, that's, yeah. that's kind of a crazy thing to think oh, about. Professor, oh, Professor. Oh, he couldn't stick it through. That was going to be his fourth goal in this game. Oh, I know Demon's going to have a chance, but nice getting back from Professor. And he's there to clear it away. Conby and in the right, you can't get a touch on it. There it is. And Demons is there to put it through. The first goal on the board for Blue. 
Dude, there he is, Anthony pulling up. Fun fact, this guy didn't play the game for the last year. So he's really Oh, so this this is anymore. Anthony. This is it. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Maker of demons. Absolutely. But, yeah. Imagine not playing the game for like a year. That's so crazy. Yeah. And then, the, what, this is his first game back? Is that uh, what you're saying? So this is, well, no, 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 he's obviously had some practice since he's gotten back. But uh, um, he did, he took a, about okay. a year break from the game. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's still kind of like, obviously still getting into things. You take a year off and, you know, you're obviously not going to be where you were a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yep, I totally understand that. But, I mean, let's let's talk about Khan for a minute. I, con, conless Khan? It's certainly yeah, been doing Yeah, Conless Khan. He had, I noticed Khan had a chance in the beginning. I mean, that goal that came from Demons, and that's actually just another goal for Professor. He's trying to steal the spotlight as I talk about Khan real quick. <laughs> but I mean, Khan was Khan before when Demons had that goal, like Khan was Khan in the 50, sent it mid for him and gave him the spotlight. So Khan has definitely been showing himself in this game. And I mean, he's, he's top of the leaderboard. He's got three saves. Just all his points are basically coming from the save, so. Kind of like a support player and a goalie, I'd say. Yeah, you know, I, I would agree with that. Professor again, can't find the shot. Professor, you know, with that shot off target, if that was more on target, this guy has 10 shots total in this game. And no, but that's it. Curly has going nine off. shots. Just like in comparison with those nine shots, the whole lobby without him combined has three shots in total. So he has six more than everyone in this lobby. That is massive numbers, and I think honestly he needs to be in here for our little post-game interview where we get the next lobby ready. I'd say ready. so. I'd say so. I mean, just a good performance there by the Orange team, and with that performance from the professor, you you honestly want to understand that Orange takes this game all day. Yeah. As we. Yeah, enjoy it. My bad. Loading up. Load up. All right. All right. Yeah. Head in, uh... Yeah, go ahead and get in there right now. I got no boost, bro. You gotta take it over. <laughs> okay, this time we're A good. lovely one, me too. <laughs> Love to stay. Only 30 seconds, not too bad. I guess 20 seconds. <laughs> it's better but... than last game. Last game was like a minute before we ended up playing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I... You don't really know. I mean, there's so much things going wrong. I can't really explain you. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. And it's, like, it's very hard to coordinate. <laughs> no, it is. And it's like, you know, we put in, we put out a form that says, you know, hey, are you going to be here? You know, what are you going to do? Uh, and it's it's like nobody follows through. Nobody will come through anyway. So it's honestly it's just easiest to do. Like, whoever shows up, if, but, you know. If you show up, you show up. Right. If you can get in the lobby, you can play. Yeah. Uh, right. How it kind of goes. I didn't even know that that was you. That's too funny, though. Yeah, the more formal main of the Goonch. Absolutely. I don't. A bit of maturing. Um, but look at just look at these look at these players, dude. I just I gotta get in the flow of things, Nolan. You gotta carry right here. <laughs> no, I got. I you, just got, got out. I just got out of appreciating architecture, and now I'm here watching some solid Rocket League gameplay from these wonderful contenders. And she's going for the boost. Oh lord, that was sketchy. Appreciating architecture, that sounds wonderful, but here we are, we're going to be appreciating some Rocket League. Uh, you know, these guys, these guys, obviously, you know, we don't we don't see any goals on the board yet. Must be kind of a closer match as of right now, but, you know, I, we know Expired, we know Cool Man. I don't know that we know Shisk. Actually, I think he's like a, he joined the league today just to come in and play yep. the Combine. Yep. God damn. Yeah, listen, thanks for, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you being here, but, I mean, Expired carrying it out. Right oh, away. and the Joker just making it into the private match. <laughs> we'll have him in the next one. We will, we will, we will have him in the next one. Do me a solid, Perfect. and can you get four? Can you get three more people ready for yes, next I game will. so that we can always have that going and ready? That'd be awesome. Yep. Let me go ahead and hop in there. I'll get them in. Fluffy, uh, Luffy, can you? Let me know. Can you name? <laughs> can you name some people that have played already, just so uh, I don't repeat? Pikachu played with Giaki. Okay. Uh, best played with oh. Rijek. Yeah, best played with Rijek. Let, let me just get on my phone and look at Smi Smiler played. Smiler played. Anthony G played. Uh, Cruton, Cruton needs to play. Alex Legrand needs to play. Okay. Crimson needs to play. 
Uh, okay. Bakey played, Peril needs to play, Grey Wolf needs to play, Khan played, okay. Pikachu, Raijik, and Smiler played, Beige, Brownie played, needs to play, uh, TRK Yarkani. needs to play, yeah. Nautic needs to play, and... And... I don't even know who that is. And Tyrone, <laughs> that's Alfred. That dude. is Alfred, alright, wonderful. The all-star himself Perfect. is in there. So then, uh, yeah. Okay, well, and I'll get it set up. Let's just go ahead. Joker will be going, and I'll get the other ones. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, a little touch here. This could be wide open. Another one from Expired. Is he going to go in, though? He's going to miss the wide open net. You hate to see it, and you, you can see that he's upset with himself right off the bat. Expired and Shiska, though. It's certainly being the combination to look at here. I mean, Expired... I, listen, I, I couldn't tell you right now that he's an 8 salary looking at the way that he plays. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm oh, going off backboard for things like this is it's it's ridiculous how well he's able to carry himself at this rank. Oh my goodness. Oof. What a shot from expired. I don't even know what happens here. I think he just almost redirected into the net. Looking at that. Oh, it was bar down. That's what it was. Yep. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate. I got the four. I we told got them the four. guys are up next. Got them. I told them they're up next, and we'll see if we can. How much? How much room we got in here? See if we can join I right now. I think you can have them all join. Next. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, there is. Ooh, I think we we have one slot too many. Actually, no. Joker's already in here. There yep. Right. I was gonna say you get three more, and I think it should be a okay. And these guys will move right afterwards, so we can continually just pull yep. people in. Perfect. Yep. That's the plan. Two to zero, though. Just over a minute left to play, and. In Seriously, Expired and Shiska are absolutely popping off right now. Shiska is technically an all-star. Fortunately, told us earlier he had been carried up a rank and wanted to see if he could hang with the contender guys. But it's really not even him who's doing most of the damage right now. It's, you know, it's Expired who's, who's really showing that edge. Shiska's being an absolutely wonderful uh, counterpart at the moment. But it's, it's, it's really, you know, I want to see a little bit more from this Orange team. I feel like they've kind of just been on the back playing defense a little bit. Yeah, no, I mean... It's, it's really, I mean, it's hard to tell and hard to, like, analyze what's really going on here. You can never really tell what these guys are thinking. They are, they're, they're intricate in their play style. And, oh, a bit of a miss there, but a great pass from expired. And it's just, it's interesting to see what they're going to do, how they execute it, and, you know, just their play all together. It's, it's putting it all together to, you know, make something make something happen a little bit. Right, exactly. Like, yeah, cool man chasing the demo there <laughs> quite a bit. I, I heard you talk about like, the contenders really don't demo. Uh, kind of. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You know, Rajik obviously, you know, plays in a more demo-based play, Ooh. but it's like, you know, I, I feel like we kind of don't see as much of that. You know I mean, it's like, it's an accidental demo, as opposed to, like, a purposeful demo. Yeah, no, I, I get what you mean. Right. Yeah, goddamn, though. Shiska and Expired. Absolute monsters on the pitch. Cool Man and Gaizo, I think they the first game started at five. <laughs> oh, how perfect, dude. Gotta love love to see that. Both contenders commit off kickoff. Love to see that, too. Alice going to toss this one back over. Great pass to Pruton. Sucks. And we've started off the scoring in the first six seconds right off the bat. My goodness. They both look so good. Great little passing play there. Uh, you know, right off, showing the chemistry, showing what they're able to do. Uh, Joker and Freel going to have to find a combat to that real fast, though. Real gonna knock yeah, we, yeah. we know a lot about for real for real. For real? This guy's been here forever, dude. I was gonna say I, I've seen him yeah, I remember him back all the way back on like the UCL days, but he's been here since like when? Like season two at least? Oh absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Been chilling out, been on a team I think every single season too, and he's always just been a joy to watch play. I was gonna say he's a part of that legendary menaces team, right? Oh, he was on that legendary, the, probably the best team on the Menaces, the contenders. He was the, the team captain of that team, and they did pretty well. They actually made it to playoffs. I think they got <laughs> to the second round of playoff, actually, but I don't quite remember. I was going to say, I think they fell to that Aces team, that Isaiah mm -hmm. Aces team. But... Oh, and I mean, Devil Jacob, Penny, yeah. or Hammy, it's, it's, it's a, that's a wrap, dude. I, that, Such dude, a I good think that's team. the one where he got the flip reset. Yeah, and I know, I know those two. I think Hammy is actually an all-star, but I know Devil Jacob's still a contender who's also still going to be playing this season. I'm pretty sure as he is participating in threes. Absolutely. So interesting to see them come back around too. Yeah, and I mean that's the other thing too. You know, combine after combine, season after season, we do see half of these guys come back, and it really is just a nice little treat to kind of see how everybody gets improved. Everybody gets a little yeah. bit better after every single season. 
Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Gruden going for the flip reset, gets it, but can't use it. Oh my goodness, this is going to be an eventful contender season, I can tell you already. <laughs> I was going for the ceiling shot. Oh my, dude, these guys are like ridiculous. What is this? Gruden gets the touch, looking for the double. Almost oh. going to get it. Oh my goodness, these mechanics. Yeah. And I know Cruton is a is a very mechanical contender player. When he has the space, he will take it and execute with it. No regard to the defenders, and just a wonder a wonderful attacking player for a contender standards. Absolutely. I know. Really? Oh. oh. What a great touch! Just right, right there, dude. It's a great really? side flip to get that get that little touch over for real, for real. That's all he needed. Just just a little bump. The doink. That was it. Wow, 2 0. Three minutes left on the clock. For real and Joker are going to have plenty of time to be able to bring this back. They're going to, they're really going to be able to focus it up. But uh, they haven't looked so bad yet. And, you know, that's the other thing, too. Playing against content, like mechanical contenders, like you can play against a mechanical all star, but at this contender level where you're still kind of working on those skills and those mechanics, it is super, super hard to kind of face off against those contenders that are super mechanical sometimes. Yeah, no, I mean, in. It, it it really it really is like you know differentiating the play because the they these guys are in the the most adolescent state of Rocket League you know they're still right. learning all their areas and you know they're they're learning to want to be the rotational player you know the field position player the the attacking force with the mechanics and everything it's just the boost control it's all it's all under the development and it's great to see you know these guys grow and become you know just what kind of player they want to be right and this is where they figure that out. Absolutely, and you know, it, it, again, your teammates, whoever you get with, you know, it will determine what kind of per, like what kind of play style you're gonna play with. You wanna work with them, and you know, just find success on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, that that really is it at the end of the day. You know, making sure that you have those opportunities. You know, it. it, it you know, I didn't have these guys are figuring out where they are right now. But, you know, uh, we, we certainly kind of see everything for real with the shot. Is it gonna go in though? It is. And it will. Oh Lord! And uh, just a quick question. Give me one more player that hasn't played yet. I do have Beige. Uh, I have. Oh, we need the Keenan. We'll get Keenan. Let's get Keenan in here. Keenan's a classic. As I say, at that point, I'm think I haven't seen Angel. I haven't seen Crimson. Angel just got here. I'm getting Crimson, Hypnotic, and Beige, and and Keenan playing this next one. Perfect. Gray Wolf is the only other one that I can see right now, other than TRK, unless you are playing him. I, I am playing TRK. That's the real Keenan. Oh no way! Mhm. Mm the yeah, real Keenan yeah, TRK. I, it. I guarantee you, he just messaged me saying, "Can you change my name in the server?" <laughs> TRK. Yeah, there you go. I should have known that. The 96. Um. <laughs> but um. Oh boy, these contenders are all grouped up. No matter how mechanical you get, if you are grouped up, you are still gonna have a ton of trouble making stuff happen. Shot here though, there's no shot that goes in, right? Oh my goodness, that is too close. Um, Joker trying to take this one around though, and it's gonna give it right to Kruton. Kruton gonna go up for it, gonna try to get it past one. He's not able to get it on target. Yeah, I mean, super, super close though. I mean, coming from all the mechanics that these guys have and all the passes that they're trying to make happen, I mean, they're super close, but the mechanics are kind of putting them out of position. And I think that's what they're gonna have to learn, you know, about the whole mechanical side of stuff, but. No, oh, and like they'll all have plenty of time to work on it, dude. And it's it's gonna there's gonna be a lot of growth here in the, the contenders right. area. And that's uh, what makes that what makes this league interesting, dude. It's the growth, the possible development that they'll have throughout the season, and you know, seeing where they'll be at at the end of like the nine weeks of regular season. It's gonna it's a, a lot of a lot can happen in that time frame. I mean, what is that like? Two months ordinarily? Yeah, about it's two months of just you know grinding out some Rocket League, playing with the with playing with the teammates, and you know, <laughs> just, oh wow. <laughs> Didn't expect that to go in, but it's a little bit of a miss from I don't know who that was. Uh, and neither of them. For real? Joker. Joker, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Okay. So with five seconds left, we got Bij and Keenan in here, and we pour him in. Whoever you want to pull in. Uh, we'll do. Who is who is Keenan playing with, by the way? Because he's not able to hear stuff. I just gotta tell him he's playing with. Uh, Bij? I'll put him. I'll put. I didn't. I don't know. I I just throw them in randomly once they're once the other guys leave. So they'll be on the team. Perfect. Yeah. See you next time. See ya. Yep.
Perfect. And we got our next game starting up right now. We've got the real Keenan playing with the brown beige. The beige brownie. And I don't know what's going on with beige brownie right now. But that's going to be a free net for Sloth to shoot. And if you give him the space, he's just going to shoot it. Well, beige running that EU ping, I believe. He's got 180 right now. Oh, my. I don't know if that's intentional, unintentional, or not. Well, on an, obviously, it's unintentional. But I don't know if that's because <laughs> of his region. But uh, hopefully, he gets a fix. There he goes. He's yeah, going for a great kickoff from both those two. Sloth up for it, gets a wonderful hit on it, on. and just can't save it. Keenan, an unfortunate position. What a shot from Sloth. Makes the read up here, even adjusts the car placement. The placement on this shot, too, is unreal. Keenan yeah, certainly really wasn't well ready for that. No, I mean, these all, I think three of these guys, other than Keenan, we have not yet to see. Yeah, like, I, at all play. I think you're right. I think Hypnotic and Crimson are like both within the past like two days. I've seen the Brage Brownie somewhere before, but I've definitely not seen them play. But uh, yeah, crazy stuff. Keenan is certainly the only one that I certainly know how to play. Yep. Keenan shot oh. though. Ooh, big Wonderful save. So uh, another list of four real quick. I think we're running running down on the list. I think we almost got everyone in at least once uh, so far. So. Gray Wolf. Yep. Angel. He just me. Uh, Gray Wolf and Angel are the only two here that I can see that have not played did yet. Did Fakey play? Uh, actually, no. I don't think he did. I, right. I thought he did at the beginning, but I don't think he did. Yeah. All right, then we'll get. Did. Okay, and then we'll slow in. I'm gonna go in there and just gonna say who wants to play. I was gonna say that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> and we'll and we'll see. Perfect. Uh, all right. Give me one second. Sounds good. Fish Brownie gonna take some control here. Gets a touch up the side. Oh, big demo from Beige, but he's not able to make anything happen. It's gonna be Keenan, by the way, pulls up with the best car in the lobby. There really is just not a better decal in the game for Keenan. He is dressed to the nines at all times. He wins every single best looking car. And there he is showing out on the big stage and you can see he just looks so good. Uh, just, and his car designs in and of themselves are just absolutely priceless too. Look, he's showing up in style like the NFL pros do. He's got the tuxedo on, he's got the show out glasses. He's got the titanium white Dominus. I mean, really, is there anything else that he needs in his life right now? He's got a pass to Beige Brownie and it's not gonna go in, but Beige is gonna take the shot off the side. Unfortunately, it's not going to find it to the end of the net. Sloth going to have to try to clear this one out. We're going to come right back to the middle. And Hypnotic, who we have not seen a ton of yet. Going to get a shot around one. Is this one going to find its way in? It's going to not yet. He's going to be able to find the follow-up, though. It cleans it up. Two to three. Orange in the lead. Yeah, I mean, both Orange players there making sure that that ball was going in no matter what. And, and really... That's what you need to be able to do. As contenders, it's always about following up the ball, always making sure that that ball goes where you want it to and does what you want it to. But great touch by Sloth there. And he's gonna find another open net and Sloth now with the uh now with the uh, hat trick off of the touch from Keenan here and Sloth showing off his abilities. Finds the open net, sends it in. Great touch by Hypnotic there. Keenan in a little bit of an awkward spot. Gonna have to find his way around Sloth here. Sloth not gonna get the touch. This is a pass to Hypnotic. Hypnotic with the shot. And my goodness, these guys have figured it out real fast. Sloth with a great touch here. I, I don't know whether that's a pass or just a, an unfortunate touch that turned into a great touch or what was going on there, but that's a phenomenal job. Great touch here by Beige Brownie. The boom downfield. Can he follow it up? Get something with it. Keenan can follow it. Oh, it's going to go just a little bit far left of the net. Hypnotic going to be on the way back. They're looking to get a 50 here. Puts this one right around midfield. And it's going to be Brown's ball to clear. Not going to be able to get there. Beige Brownie looking to set this one up for Keenan. Great little touch by Hypnotic there. Not able to get much going on. Keenan going to find his way into the net. And that's the Keenan we know and love. Great pass to a great shot, and Keenan does it in style like he normally does. Well, we got the next four situated. Had to do a little bit of random number generator for the last person because, you know, they all wanted to play. Of course, of course. So who <laughs> are we, we seeing? Get... 
Uh, we were be the professor once again. B has always showing up. You say he did real well, or they did real well. Mm -hmm. No, uh, and you know it's gonna. I guess get to see him get one more time. I don't know. I I don't know what you plan after we get everyone playing. I'm sure you don't want to probably run it back. <laughs> no, I, I don't think we're gonna be. Able and to. I don't think we have time either. Yeah, because we do have All Star starting in what like 45 minutes. By the way, if I thought if we thought Contenders is gonna be bad, All Stars is gonna be twice as bad. We're gonna probably have. You think so? We're probably gonna. Have, I think we're. Dude, last time I did the comp when I did the combine for the threes, Contender had like maybe 20 people, and All Star had at least like. I had full, I'll, I had more man. people in my lobby than I did with Contender did, and I give Timothy half a lobby. That is true. Do you think we'll have to do the dual stream? Because uh, I, really I can't hop have... on T though. My goodness, that could be that could be phenomenal. We'll have to see, but um, certainly, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what the numbers are. We'll we'll announce it in a second. But we gave a yeah. we gave a, a solid half an hour time in between to kind of be able to evaluate stuff. So we'll kind of figure it out from there. Yep, and we got three of our guys out here. We just be waiting. Dude, look at how patient we are. Awesome. I know, and you know, I'm, I can appreciate that they're that they're not they're not messing it up too much. Right. Absolutely. As far as the combine announcements, Contender had 28 people react, and uh, All Stars 18. So right now we're looking right at now. lower numbers. You know, you know, reactions don't show. matter though. You know, never reactions do. don't matter. I never do. I shouldn't even done it. <laughs> but. You know what we'll do? We'll do we'll do this one. We'll do one more after that for for this next group, and then we'll either call it there or if we want to do. Like I, a, I yeah, think we'll we kind of have to call it there. Yeah, I, I think, think we have right. to call it there. So yeah, uh, I will. I'll go. I'll go ahead and tell them Wonderful. that the that if they are not playing in this next one, they will be done. Yep. But yeah, we're anyone here, so we just hop in there. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, guys, if you're watching this right now, you know, obviously, contenders are popping off. These guys have done such a good job already so far. You know, half of these guys are, like, way more mechanical than any contender player should be. But, you know, it's a wonderful job. Everybody really here has, has really had their moment today. Everybody's had some short, some, you know, sort of, you know, production, some sort of play that they made that made them stand out from the rest. You know, any of these guys would... And should be on teams. They're all gonna have their moments, and they're really all gonna be able to uh, have a shot moving forward. But just a great job overall here. Keenan, can he put another one in? He's gonna get there. Keenan being resilient with it all, showing the love to his teammate, and that's what you love to see day in and day out about this. Can't even believe it. I'm getting messages from people who just bought RLCS tickets and I'm not there. Maybe I'll see if they can do like some sort of stream of some sort. You know how cool that would be? From Hypnotic here. No touch from Hypnotic. It's going to be Keenan's ball to go up for it. Sloth going to beat him on the 50 though. And Brownie not going to be able to get the touch. It should be a wide open net. Keenan going to be there to save it though. Typical Keenan style. He's going to be able to pull up and grab that. Brownie getting the flick off of one, Keenan up in the air, and they're showing their uh, they're showing their chemistry and anything that they've figured out right now. Maybe Beige is gonna be able to figure something out here. Oh, great clear from Keenan, putting this one farther down the field, away from himself. Keenan with the shot, gonna get blocked down, and that is going to be the end of game. Last game. But Orange team taking the win. Sloth. <laughs> Sloth and Hypnotic. Sloth ends up hitting the 1K. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Jeez. On me, I think. Hey, that's awesome. So, they're looking pretty solid. And listen, you know, the combine uh, is only there. What is. Yeah. Ghost. All right. Well, that's the last one. I don't care enough to fix it. We're going to let. We don't Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll let him play it once he get joins. They're, they're in. They're in, they're in. Wonderful. Well, Hypnotic, sorry that this was cut a little bit short. We got the next game going on right now, but thanks so much for coming in. I hope that your season is phenomenal. I hope you get drafted, and more importantly, I hope that this was enough to be able to show off you and your skills. So thanks so much for coming with us, and uh, you know, we'll see you later on in the season. Yeah, this was amazing. Thanks. Of course, for sure. No problem, dude. Last game right here. On Orange Team, we got Angel, the Bronx, and Ghost. And on Combine 1, we got Grey Wolf and the Professor. Hold it up here. We're going to see their last 
game. And uh, this will actually end it for the Contender Combine. We have seen everybody that came today at least once. We've seen the Professor twice. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into the All-Star one in just a little while. I think we got about a half an hour before that yeah. one starts back up. Give us a couple of minutes to breathe. And uh, we'll go ahead and get right back into things. Professor looking to take the shot here. Bronx going to be able to save that. Not Bronx. <laughs> Yep. A little high. Professor with the shot. Gonna Ooh. get the save. Angel of the Bronx. Goes back on this one. So the Bronx splits it over one. Professor is not startled by that at all. A great save from Grey Wolf. Grey Wolf gonna be back on the attack. Gets the open net. One to one. Yeah, you know, great attack from Grey Wolf here too, you know. Finds the opportunity, finds the open net, centers himself, and just tosses it in. It's just that simple. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm dealing with scheduling issues for threes. Of course, of course. <laughs> By the way, let me let me tell you this. I just got a message from Far. Far just bought tickets to the RLCS Major Land. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we might have to have him stream some experience there. Or yeah, I would I would love for Far to stream some stuff for us. That'd be great. I think yeah. that'd be sick. Anybody else? You got, dude, I, dude, Pete's been hitting me up. He's like, he's like, dude, pull up to LA. He's like, we can meet up and you, we can go to RLCS. I'm saying, I'm like, dude, that's so cool, dude. It's like they're in the middle of my school week. It's like I can't, I, can't, you know, I'm sure it's a fortune to get there. I, I can't even do that, but it's nuts. RLCS major, back on land, back in person. That's how it is, but one to one. We've saw a lot more action earlier from these, uh, from these guys. Really interesting to kind of see uh, what they're kind of able to do right now. Ghost going to try to slow it down. Taking his time off the wall here. Looking to get a pass and center out. It's going to be Professor with some control here. Going to find his way back down the orange side of the field. Grey Wolf with the shot. Grey Wolf finds the net. And that's going to be Grey Wolf second. Still popping off here. Really, really kind of finding his uh, his groove. Takes the second to center himself. And that's another thing, you know, that's big with the contender players. I feel like there isn't really a lot of patience. It's always go, go, go. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can, hit the ball, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But both of the times, Grey Wolf has scored here. He's taken the opportunity to really solidify his positioning, really took the opportunity to figure out where he was putting the ball, and made it happen both times. Props to Grey Wolf. Great play. Post putting the moves on him. We get something going here. Angel looking for that center. It's going to end up being the professor. Yeah, taking this one down the field. It's gonna be Ghost back with the clear. Great clear from Ghost. Grey Wolf not on the ball here. Ghost looking for that pass. It's gonna be right center, but oh, the pass is gonna be clearing this one out. And Orange not seeing a ton of time on the offense. Definitely seeing more time on defense, but they're gonna they're gonna have to do something at some point. Uh, the rotations have been good for the most part. I think that the blue team is just faster at the moment, or at least that's in better position. Oh my goodness, Professor coming in from halfway across the field in the air. Grey Wolf with the shot, number three, Patrick, and this is going to be a pop-up game for Grey Wolf. Oh my, yeah, they're showing up for the final match. Yeah. Really appreciate that. Uh, Got to make sure I save these VODs too. I was gonna say, make sure we get these saved, showing the GMs. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, everyone recognized just a little bit, but I mean, it's been a great show out so far. I appreciate everyone showing up tonight. Yeah, absolutely. It's always nice to have an event like this go as well as this mm -hmm. one has. Oh, absolutely. And you know, from for for everything that happened, you know, it went pretty smoothly. Oh, and just sneaking it in there, Grey Wolf. Oh, unfortunate. Bronx trying to save it, just could not get up to it in time. Sneaking into that left corner. Yeah, he like hit off of everything he could there. <laughs> Yeah, it's been unfortunate, but it happens. Good touch by Grey Wolf here, winning this kickoff. Professor, can he get it and in? Another oh, great shot. Oh my goodness, these two are just showing up. I mean, really, it's like it's it's clockwork. One of them goes, the other one goes. They're getting passes in. They're they're making the plays. I really, these two are really kind of just showing off together at this point. Yeah. The minute 21. I mean, it was pretty closely contested for the, the majority of the game that they kind of let it go after the two minute mark. And now another kickoff goal, possibly just gonna sneak in there. Oh my goodness. 
15 going on. Oh, oh Lord, you hate to see that. This is kind but, of just unfortunate. Yeah, you just never really know what's going to happen at Contenders, so I'm just excited for the season. <laughs> that is so true. We, you know, the first Contender stream, and we're going to see a million of these things, and they really just are... They really are just precious. Oh, absolutely. No, you gotta, you gotta think of the no good times. Way. Oh my goodness, no Grandma! Way. I hit a 1k, we got a minute left. That is quite terrifying. What a block. What a block for Grey Wolf. Wow. You know, I've seen this guy at trials too, and he's been doing pretty well in those. Never really been a standout kind of, you know, contender player, but he's just been waiting, I guess. I mean, listen, there's no better stage to show off on than this one, honestly. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, though. I'm glad to hear that, you know, he's having a pop-off day. He's really kind of feeling it right now. Yeah, uh, I believe he's a friend of Eli, the Eli Groth, one oh, of the, yeah. the all-star players, yeah. Brought him in here. So, do have some connections to everything. Hmm. Oh, not gonna be able to get this one off in the air though. Oh my oh, goodness! Oh, it gets it by it's two. Awesome. It's another one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Gray Wolf. Okay, <laughs> what a... Gray Wolf. I don't even see the other the two that are playing against are playing bad, dude. I think he's just peeking. He's he's really playing very well right now. That is absolutely true. My goodness, he's uh, he's on another level if nothing else. But yeah, finding his way around everything. Do it to him, Grey Wolf. One more. Oh, oh and he misses. <laughs> Let's see Orange grab one more goal for the road, though. Oh, what a wonderful save from the professor. And we have 15 seconds left in this contender combine for season two. And what a blowout of a game for the finalizer. Almost getting oh. one more goal. Definitely not the game you want to go out on, but definitely the game that you want to go out on if you are the scoring team. Yes, uh, absolutely. Combine winner one. Combine winner one, absolutely. Uh, it's great job. I, I want to pull Grey Wolf in, obviously. Homie had yeah. 1182 points. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Wolf in.